Hi, I'm Heike from Genii. I'm here to give you an introduction to the Samsung Galaxy Young. I'll guide you through the setup basics and show you how to personalise it to suit your needs. With an ergonomic design and 4 gigs of internal memory, the Samsung Galaxy Young is a great first step into the world of smartphones. We'll take a look at what's in the box shortly, but first, make sure you save your contacts from your old phone onto your SIM so they're immediately available when you're finished setup. Your Young comes with an AC charger, USB cable and guides. To get started, remove the back, insert your SIM, then the battery and replace the cover. Now press the power button until the screen comes to life. Once powered up, you'll be taken through the setup wizard. This is easy to follow and takes just a few minutes. Your young will default to English, so tap next. You can complete the setup using Wi-Fi if you have access, otherwise tap skip to continue. Setting up a Samsung account gives you access to a great range of Samsung services. Find out more about them here. Now let's add your Google account. Doing so will give you immediate access to the Play Store once setup is complete. You can join Google Plus next, but we'll skip this step for now. Next, you can enter your credit card details if you regularly download paid for apps. Backup and restore options follow. Keep these options ticked and tap the arrow to continue. Google location options comes next. Great for using maps or other location-based applications. We'll keep these ticked for now, but you can easily switch this off in the setting menu. For instance, if you're traveling overseas. You can sync up with the online storage using Dropbox next. We'll tap no thanks to continue. Tap finish to complete the setup. That's your young all set up. I'll now explain some of the standard device features to get you started. To lock the display, press the power button on the device briefly. The screen will go dark, which means it's in standby mode. You can do this while in any active screen. To unlock the device, press the power button and swipe across the screen. Adjust the ringer by pressing the volume up or down button. Scrolling all the way down puts your young into vibrate mode. For extra security, we recommend you create a passcode lock. It needs to be one you can easily remember, but not something people can easily guess. Tap the app icon at the bottom of the home screen, then tap settings, then lock screen, and screen lock. Select the lock option you prefer and follow the on-screen instructions. To return to the home screen at any time, tap the home button. To select an icon or choose an option on the screen, just tap on it. To go back a step at any point, just tap the back button. Your Young has a number of home screens for the display of apps and widgets. Navigate between these screens by swiping your finger from side to side. The dots show you what screen you're in. The notification bar at the top of the screen alerts you to all of the latest happenings on your Young, like receiving voicemail, appointment reminders and emails. To view notifications, swipe your finger down the screen. Tap on the description to find out more or delete all remaining notifications by tapping clear. Next, we'll take a look at personalising your young. You can customise many things like wallpaper, ringtones and icon placement. Your young comes preloaded with clever widgets like the Weather 2. To add a widget, tap the app icon, then widgets. Browse the options long press on your choice and drag it to the clear screen. To add an app to the home screen, tap the app icon, then apps. Long press on your chosen app, then drag and release. You can move it anywhere on the screen by long pressing and then releasing your finger when it's in the spot you want. To remove an app icon or widget, long press again, then drag to the rubbish bin. The Play Store is where you'll find apps for almost anything, from social and business networking through to life planning and navigation. There are great free apps too, like Cisco WebEx, which lets you join web conferences right from your young. 
tap the Play Store icon on the home screen. Browse the categories or type the app you're after into the search bar. Tap on your chosen app for more information and to download. If you plan to take your young overseas, it's a good idea to download the Telecom Roaming app. It's a great free tool that helps you manage data costs while you're overseas. You can even put a data smart cap in place so that when you reach your chosen spend limit, data usage will stop. Free alerts will tell you how your usage is going too. Search on Telecom Roaming in the Play Store and tap to install. Once downloaded, launch the app, agree to the terms, then tap the dots for more info. Now tap Data Smart Caps, then tap the link to view usage. You may need to select a browser to do this. Tap Change to adjust your cap. Next, we'll look at email. We added Google Mail during setup, but now's the time to add in other accounts like corporate email. Before you set up Exchange email, you will need the relevant information from your mail server administrator. Exchange settings vary from company to company, so if you have any trouble with this next step, please speak with your mail server administrator. From the home screen, tap the menu button, then settings and add account. Now tap Microsoft Exchange Active Sync. Enter your work email address and password, then tap Next. Now add your Exchange server settings. There are a number of fields available, but you only need to enter the information your mail server administrator has provided and tap Next. Then OK. You can browse mail settings or just tap Next to continue. Activate device administrator if required, then name your account and tap done. Bluetooth offers you wireless connectivity over short distances from your young. You can use it to link devices like car kits for safe driving and headsets that let you multitask while you talk. From the home screen, tap the menu button, then settings and Bluetooth. Swipe to turn on and tick to make your young discoverable to other devices. Scroll down the list until you see the device you wish to pair with and tap on it. Check that the passkey matches and accept the pairing request on both devices. Bluetooth devices vary, so you may need to follow specific instructions to pair. Your young is a handy business tool, but did you know it can turn into a Wi-Fi hotspot too? When you're out and about with another wireless device like a laptop or tablet, you can use the data connection on your Young to connect other wireless devices. From the home screen, tap the app icon, then settings and more settings. Now tap tethering and portable hotspot then configure to set a new password if required. Then tap save and swipe to turn your portable Wi-Fi hotspot on and off. On your other wireless device, turn Wi-Fi on. Select your Young's network name and enter the password to connect. The last feature we'll cover is power management. We'll give you some quick tips to extend the life of your battery so you can stay connected for longer. Swiping down from the status bar lets you quickly turn off apps like Bluetooth to save power. You can turn mobile data off here too, if you are out and about with a low battery. Reducing the screen timeout is a good power saver. You can do this by heading to Settings, Display, then Screen Timeout. Reducing the brightness saves power too. Hit the back button and tap Brightness to adjust. You're now on your way to discovering even more on your Samsung Galaxy Young. Have a look through the menus and explore the applications to get this great smartphone doing the things you need it to. And remember, the more you practice, the easier it will become.